You guys see that tweet like last week? That was like, I just found out that the word for speed in Swedish is fart. And then it was like the DVD cover for speed. But it's just Keanu Reeves' face and then it says fart. How strange it is to be anything at all, man. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 we got a, we got a VIP off, man. Two people had the link, like, ready to go. VIP Daniel and the librarian. Neutral Milk Hotel reference. Actually, it's a reference to the time that Stephen Colbert referenced Neutral Milk Hotel on his episode of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Do you know the band Neutral Milk Hotel? Is that an antacid? He's got a song, and one of the lines is, and someday we will die and our ashes will fly from the airplane over the sea. And when we meet on a cloud, I'll be laughing out loud. I'll be laughing with everyone I see. Can't believe how strange it is to be anything at all. And I really love that idea, of how strange it is to be... Okay, Jerry. Too much. Me and the Uber when they start playing Neutral Milk Hotel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't click that one. That one, Interesting. that one is pretty bad. <laughs> I can't believe your Uber driver asked you what music you listen to, and then you put on Neutral Milk Hotel, which is not even that weird. It's just like, like it's not that it's that out of pocket. It could be worse, but it's just a you're you're. Assuming, I would say, maybe like a little too much intimacy with the driver. You should have just put on, I don't even know, man, like some Andrew WK or something. Like, I'm just going to be honest. If the Uber driver says, what have you been listening to lately? I'm doing a vibe check real quick, but there's like an 80% chance I'm saying Imagine Dragons. But I will also say, yes, I'm, I'm misrepresenting myself because there's a level of assumed familiarity there that I don't want to necessarily agree to. But I will never click no conversation in the Uber. I would prefer if the driver did not make conversation with me. But they're the ones in the car all day, okay? So if, if, if it makes their job easier to make small talk, if that's one of the best parts of the job for them, then, then I'm doing the small talk. And sometimes you, you meet some interesting people, man. And interesting has a variety of different possible permutations for sure, but I mean it in all senses of the word. It is, you're not wrong, it's definitely one of the best ways to meet people who have been abducted by aliens. I do think, and this is not fair, from now on, I'm gonna start lying about my job to Uber drivers, because it just, the conversation, it never isn't uncomfortable after I tell them what I do. <laughs> I've met some very nice people who also want to be quote-unquote influencers. I'm saying that not to insult them, but to insult what I do. But like the tone of the conversation shifts immediately. I'm gonna start saying like I'm an accountant or sorry, a dentist maybe, I don't know. An architect, Costanza style, I don't know. I feel bad because I've spent like a lot of Uber rides on the way to like airports giving advice on like how to become a YouTuber. But like all the advice that I give, I'm like, I believe it, but it, it increases your chances of success like 0.25%. And the best thing you could do to improve your chances of becoming a YouTuber is like build a time machine and go back to like 2010 when 0.01% of the population was doing it. <laughs> so you could just like make videos and like the next day you're like, whoa, the 500 people watch this one? But you know, they are doing you the service of driving you to the airport. So it is, I mean, it's, it's nice to be nice as well. You could say a funny job to work on. No, because then they're going to ask me more specific questions about it. I got to pick something that's like unremarkable. We gotta- oh, Now if I say something and someone in chat does it, they're gonna feel like so bad. So now I can't even say what I was gonna say, man. <laughs> garbage man? No, dude, if I was an Uber driver and someone said they were a garbage man, I would talk their ear off. I would deliberately take the long way. I would be like, what's the, what's the single biggest thing that annoys you about your job? And you'd probably be like, oh, there's a house in Shaughnessy that like always tries to throw out 
uh, electronic waste when we can't take electronic waste. And I'd be like, damn, that sounds like a, like a grind, man. I would have so many questions about, like, for, for a garbage man. I gotta, what I was gonna say, and I don't mean this to be rude, is like, I'm an admin assistant at like an office. As if I think if you basically implied that your job was basically to like set appointments for the CEO and respond to emails, then they would probably be like, oh, okay, any music you wanna listen to, and then they would crank it up. Not, not being rude, it could be a perfectly good job. I'm just trying to come up with something that kills the conversation instantly. <laughs> Real estate underwriter? I'm starting to think that you guys don't have curious minds. Because if, if someone got in my car and said, I'm a real estate underwriter, I would be like, I would have so many questions. I would be like, what, what kind of underwriting do you do? Do you do like insurance underwriting? What are you doing? You know, like, are, are there unique circumstances that you're looking into, like in places like Florida or even places like Vancouver right now? Or are you like a mortgage underwriter? Like what are some surprising, like what's one thing I wouldn't expect if I, if I thought about what would be like a big risk factor or something like that? I'm very curious about, I, I've said it many times before, I'm very curious about quote unquote normal jobs because I meet people who work almost exclusively not normal jobs in my line of work. Tell them you're an Uber driver. You guys are, uh, my two cents is you are failing the persuasion check. Cause I, wouldn't they just instantly start complaining to you about, like they would expect you to commiserate with them on everything that they don't like about being an Uber driver. And I wouldn't, I would have to just tell up lies. Talk about gluttons for Taxi driver. Now you're talking, man. No, I still think. I don't know, man. I think admin assistant for a for a business on days where you don't want to talk, I think that's your best option. Like, I don't want to make up funny lies. Well, I don't know. But if I'm going to make up a lie, I'll just be like, hey, I'm like a chocolate taster. <laughs> then they'd be like, how is that? It seems like a dream job. And I'd be like, it's pretty good, but I'm allergic to chocolate. Like, just start throwing out some crazy stuff.